हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल मेजरमेंट एंड कंट्रोल सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रांसड्यूसर्स वन ऑफ द ट्रांसड्यूसर्स दैट इज आरटीडी रेजिस्टेंस टेंपरेचर डिटेक्टर और आल्सो नोन एज रेजिस्टेंस थर्मोमीटर so resistance thermometer or resistance temperature detector is to determine the temperature by measuring the resistance of pure electrical wire okay this wire is temperature sensor it has high accuracy and it gives good linear characteristics over a wide range of temperature so it's nothing but a Wire of platinum or nickel or copper. We will see that later. And these metals changes their resistance for different temperatures. And for a certain range, this temperature variation is linear. That is why this temperature, the resistance. Sorry, the resistance with temperature variation is linear. that is why we are using it as sensor because if we attach power supply to it then with the variation in resistance voltage at the output side can also be varied okay so let's see so here are three pictures these are three main categories of rtds well, left most one who is thin thin flame resistor okay and it is a temperature sensor as i said before and it changes its temperature resistance with temperature and it trigger power source to operate so we will see in the next slide this three type of rtds okay so the sensing component here are three main metals that are platinum copper and nickel and here we can see the resistance temperature versus resistance graph of the rtd and you can see that platinum the graph of the platinum is pretty straight and this is what we need we need a linear characteristics because with increase in temperature the resistance will also change linearly and so what is the problem with copper and nickel we can also use copper and nickel but only in the linear zone because the moment we go to the non linear zone we need other electronic system with the sensors to calculate how much it deviated and then add the value then so on the sensor but we don't want that because we want the sensor to be simple so that is why we only use linear part of the graph so here are temperature in degree celsius okay range of temperature for pure metals to be used like if you need to measure 0 degree to 65 degree c you will use platinum sensor okay platinum rtd if the range of the temperature is within 0 degree and 120 degree you will use copper rtd made of copper and if the temperature is, is within 0 degree and 300 degree c you will use nickel so like previous one same graph okay and this is called resistance temperature characteristics look one thing notice one thing though it is called resistance temperature characteristics the y axis it is not actually not actually resistance it is actually rt by r0 so change in temperature like generally we know that like common resistance equation is 
R T is equal to R zero into one plus alpha T. Okay. So similarly, here R zero is the starting resistance, and with increase in temperature, R T is changing. So on the y axis here, we are actually getting R T by R zero. Okay. On not and not R T itself, but it is a ratio. And on the x axis we have temperature in degree Celsius. Okay. Remember that. So one important thing in this, in high accuracy RTDs, is that RTD material must be pure because if it is impure, the value would deviate from its actual value, and it will hamper the accuracy. Okay. And the resistance temperature graph that we just seen. Would vary, okay, and it would not be linear anymore. It will be non-linear. So here is the graph, and it could not be like this. It would deviate from this graph. So we have to keep in mind that, okay, keep that in mind. So why we use these components? Like why you we are using the air sensor? Is there something special to it? Or we can just use any metal or anything as sensing component. Or do we use some extra material with it, with this? Let's see. So we'll be using metals, okay? Because especially for temperature sensing, the material needs to be good conductor of temperature or heat. Good conductor of heat. So metals are good conductor of heat, and in this case they change their property with measurement. Measurement means in this case temperature. So we will use the material which will change its property with measurement. This time it is temperature, but we can also measure flow with flow meter or any other thing. Okay. So we have to keep in mind that the Resistance or inductance or capacitance or any other property is changing with change in the measurement. That is temperature or flow or pressure, whatever we we are trying to make measure. Okay, so so that that they can sense the change, like the material that we are using can sense the change in temperature, like in flow with flow meter or strain, whatever we are using. They change that property linearly, as we discussed before. Linearity is very important, and we can only use these sensors in the linear zone. In the non-linear zone, it cannot operate because it gives wrong values. So as long as the temperature versus that graph, or temperature or any other property, suppose we are measuring some type of strain, we are measuring strain. And it is changing some property like resistance or something. So the strain versus resistance graph, it should be linear. If it deviate from that linearity, we would not be able to get the real value. And we can with the help of other calculating devices, but then it would be more complex, more costly, and we don't want that. Okay. Next, anything that changes that property linearly with temperature or any other way can be used as sensor, as I just told you. Okay. So there are mainly three categories of RTDs. One is thin film, and it looks like the picture on the right side. Other one is wire wound, and third one is coiled elements. Okay. So what is this thin film RTD? Well, thin film RTD is a small RTD sensor, okay, like resistance temperature detecting sensor. Very small in size, and here at the bottom we can see its construction. And platinum is used in this case. Why use platinum? Most of the 
RTD is used platinum because they are linear over a wide range of temperature which gives a better output like we have to measure up to 600 or 300 no matter what we can use platinum but other two materials nickel and copper they have very limited range okay so the bottom layer of this rtd thin film rtd is actually ceramic substrate over that substrate we give platinum or other digestive element of 1 to 10 nanometer thin okay that layer is 1 to 10 nanometer thin and that top layer that is first ceramic then platinum and then the top layer is epoxy or glass and this epoxy and glass also works as friendly leaf for external lead wire here we can see that two wires are connected at the bottom picture see the term extension leads okay so these leads are taken out from this material and it is directly connected with the platinum or other digestive element and if it gets strained okay so the change there will be change in resistance okay and material can damage so the epoxy or glass layer is works as strain relief to hold that thing hold that metal or the ceramic substrate all together okay so it's like a sandwich like above portion it is glass bottom most portion it is ceramic substrate and in middle we have platinum wire okay So what are the disadvantages of thin film? There are advantages like the thing is very small. Okay, so we can use in with small devices, portable devices. Other two are, are portable as well, but they are way bigger. Okay. So that's the advantage. But what are the disadvantage of thin film RTD? So it is not as stable as other RTDs. We'll study other RTDs in the next slides that thin film RTD is the less stable, least stable okay of those three it is the least stable RTD next we have uh, used over a limited temperature range so thin film RTD can be used over only a limited temperature range we know that platinum can have like uh, linear characteristics up to 600 degrees C but thin film RTD cannot be used up to that range it can be if we use extra encapsulation but it would increase the cost okay and range of operation so here that you can see the range of operation and why we said that uh, used over a limited temperature range so it can as we have seen earlier that platinum can give linear characteristics up to 600 celsius but here we can see that it only ranges up to 300 degree c without further packaging 600 degree c with encapsulated glass or ceramic and 900 degree c with right encapsulations so it can give linear characteristics up to 900 but we have to use extra encapsulation next we have wire wound RTD so the picture here it looks like this and what are the pros advantages pros mean advantages what are the advantages of wire wound RTDs first it has great accuracy okay second wide range of temperature Okay, so this are, these two are the pros of wire wound RTDs, and as the construction, so sensing wire is wrapped around an insulating core. So the cylindrical thing you are watch, watching, you are seeing in this picture, and there are two leads coming out of this 
cubical shaped thing these are two leads which you connect with the device okay and in this cylindrical shaped device actually there is a insulating core and a sensing wire a platinum wire or ni nickel or copper wire is wrapped around that insulating core and in this picture it is round core but the core can also be flat so the let's see the thermal expansion coefficient so the wind winding core and then sensing wire winding core that is insulating core but though it is an insulator but there are many insulator which expand with increase in temperature and this sensing wire has to be near about same thermal expansion coefficient like with same with the winding core thermal expansion coefficient so thermal expansion coefficient of both the insulating core and the wire that is wrapped around its core needs to be approximately same okay and sensing wire is connected to a large wire called element lead so the thing that you are seeing on the right side of this tubular shape okay cylindrical shape there are two wires coming out these are called element lead and it has a temperature range of 660 degrees centigrade next we have coiled elements and it looks like this it is a largely replaced wire wound elements in industry coiled elements have largely replaced other rtds because it is more durable in nature compared to other rtds okay it is a wire coil that can expand freely over temperature held in place by some mechanical support platinum wire is used in this case as well so the wire resembles a filament of an incandescent light bulb the light bulb right nowadays most of us use cfl bulbs you can hardly see incandescent light bulb but incandescent light bulb are those that we used to use in earlier days that yellow light okay so the filament of those bulbs were like round shaped okay so same here the coiled in coiled elements the wire shape is same as filament spiral shape okay this hard fired ceramic powder housing with equally spaced boards runs transverse to this axis okay so there are boards inside this ceramic powder housing and wire goes in and out wrapping that axis okay and the temperature range of this thing is 850 degrees c so here is the equation that rtd follow okay so above one is the actual equation and bottom portion is optimized for low limited range of temperature okay so it is rt plus r0 into 1 plus t minus t0 so if the temperature range is huge we will use the above equation and if the temperature is small temperature range then we can use the bottom one so here i have downloaded some rtd sensors from internet pictures okay so here is one okay so these are called rtd modules and where they are used they are used in microcontroller along with microcontroller and these are called modules so suppose you have a microcontroller 
and new you need a temperature sensor so at, so what you will do you will buy one of this and attach it with your microcontroller microcontroller like arduino so you will buy arduino microcontroller you will buy rtd module you will attach those two and in the microcontroller you will program the microcontroller according to the input from this device okay suppose you want to create a device which will say very hot when it reaches 40 degree c okay so what you will have to do you have to attach this rtd module along with this arduino okay and program that arduino according to the logic like how much temperature this thing is sensing and according to that you will get the output okay so what are the application areas of this rtd so these are the application areas like automobile medical electronics industrial electronics consumer electronics instrumentation communication these are the application areas so in automatic communication and instrumentation it is used to measure engine temperature to okay so there is a typing mistake it would be oil level sensor okay and there is intake air temperature and sensors for sensing the over the temperature of amplifier transistor gain stabilizer etc and it is used in power electronics computer consumer electronics food handling processing industrial electronics medical electronics military and aerospace so previous one was areas where rtds are used but let's see some example like device name which are actually rtd sensors so coolant sensor is rtd sensor transmission oil temperature sensor is rtd sensor intake air temperature sensor is rtd sensor fire detectors are rtd sensor okay so that's it for today guys see you next time